Hello, Bob Hughes here with JD Squared, and in this video, we're going to show you Camelot's bending features. Now, Camelot is our software for bending, cutting, marking, you know, tubing or shapes, angle iron, whatever, that can be rotated, you know. Anyway, this is it. And to illustrate the bending functions, let's go ahead and import a file. This file was created in another program. It could have been done in our frame editor or Fusion 360, SolidWorks, or whatever you have, as long as that program will export a step file. And um, here it is right here. Now, what it's asking us, do we want to detect features? We're going to say OK. Now, features are defined as anything that has been done to the workpiece or the tube in this case. Did we bend it? Did we miter the ends? Did we notch the ends? Have we put any holes in it? That's essentially what it's looking for. Now, as soon as it detected all the features, it noticed that there's cuts and everything in it and there's bends in it. And it wants to know, do you want to make a job for these tubes? And um, the answer in this case is no. But if you did, it will do all the calculations for straightening it out and basically put the marks on where the tubing, where you have to mark it to bend it, how to cut and everything like that. But we're only bending this time, so we're going to say cancel. Now, let's go over here to the right. And what it's done is it's calculated the length of the tubing, um, this length right here, it's giving you the weight and all because it, you know you in the in the thing you told it, it was steel, um, and I'll show you that that's all in the die library, and it's round profile. It's 1.327 inches in diameter, and I got no idea. I think that's a a 3.7 millimeter metric tube because our benders are uh, compatible, you know, with inches and millimeters and we do make 33.7 millimeter dies so but i've got this program turned on in inch mode if i wanted to see it in uh, metric mode then i would go to my units right here and i would just change you know what do i want to go but you know you know i'm going to stay with inches on this because hey, this is where we're at you know us anyway um it's got all this information and what it's telling you here in in um green yeah all of the bends are the same radius no problem um it's also saying all dies in stock in big red or red and it's saying no so that means as far as this program knows you cannot make that bend so the first thing we got to do to bend it is to alter the part so that we can bend it and the way we're going to do that is we are going to go to our frame editor so we bring the frame editor in and here's your part now in another video i talked about the die library and the active die please watch that uh, it goes into a little more detail but we're going to skim over it quickly here and what the deal is is we're going to have to apply a bend we have to alter these bends to something that we can physically make in our our building so if we look here's a 1.327 die it's got a center line radius of 3.86 um, let's just go ahead and just say hey you know what we you know we did a test bend out there we used your k factor calculator which is an also described in that video on the die library and active die we're going to go ahead and save that but this is the die here and we're going to go ahead and close you know what let's make it a little more obvious so you can see it better we're going to change it to a five inch radius we're going to close and make this the active die set now if we were to select a die see the red right there that is the active die that's what your bender is going to produce because you have determined um, through our software that this is the correct center line radius and everything uh, for what your bender makes you know now clearly you're not going to want to select every single one of these if you hold control key down you can go right around it or the shortcut is just click on a straight length and it will highlight every bend in the piece let's go ahead and um, apply the active die now the active die is saying right over here that it's 1.327 um, and it's giving you a description of it od and the center line radius even the wall thickness in stock faults you know that means you don't really have that die let's go back over here and tell it we do have that die and save it okay all right close now it's telling you yeah you've got that die you can actually produce this part in your facility let's go ahead and apply the active die to the part and there you go there's your new part with a die that you can actually produce now all dies in stock um, yes you're green you're good to go so let's go ahead and bend this part up 
you know. Um, so what we're going to do is, I'm sorry, yeah, right left click on it. Now I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to select bin tube. And there we are. We're to the bin tubing page. If we go to the dimensions tab up here, it's going to tell you where to put the marks that will line up with your die sets and the angles of rotation. Remember that part was pretty much bent on the same plane, meaning that it will lay down um, flat in, in a perfect world. And so every tilt angle is minus 90, minus 90, minus 90 because they're all on the same plane. The links right here are telling you from the start, this is where you need to put a mark on your tube and from the end of the tube of where to start your bend you know so you have all that now another thing we can do too is tell the software what kind of bender do we have um, do we have a bender with a rotating die or do we have a static die so first we're going to go ahead with rotating die for instance that would be our model 332 model 54 those benders the dies rotate however our model four the die doesn't rotate therefore it would have a static die but we're going to go ahead and do rotating die for this particular example now another thing we want to do is if we highlight over here in the left panel we click one it'll highlight the bend band the band right here now what the green band is that is actually the section of the tubing that is going to bend the red mark is the distance from where it starts bending to where we put our mark on our tube that will line up with our die set we refer to that as the lead in right there you know all right so anyway but now let's just say looking at this piece of tubing i don't want to make that bend now see this is the second bend right here because and then the third bend would be there and the fourth one would be the end one i've looked at my geometry and i really want to make this bend first so what we can do is we can move it up and then see the red bands on this side of the tubing we don't want to do it we want to move it to this side all we do is start from the end of the tubing now the red band is over here we also want to move the fourth bend up a little bit this bend right here and it too we want to bend from the end so right here you'll see the um see it change sides right there so at this point we're ready to bend um obviously all of our marks are our marks we have to remark them because we just changed the order of bend or actually the size that is bending on go back to the animation view and at this point all we got to do is hit start you know um and there we go we're bending now in future updates on our software we will be adding our machines complete with the floor and the feeder if you have a model 54 so that you could see in in you know real time are we going to hit the floor are we going to hit our bender or something like that that's a feature that we have definitely got on the on our roadmap to give you an example of the of the um static die um if we were to do that and we would run the same part let's go ahead and run this back home um now if we run it notice that the die now is um is not rotating you know that would be like for our model four bender anyway that is essentially the the quick and dirty die to, to how to calculate where to bend tubing other videos i suggest you watch are the one dealing with the die library and the active die because it does talk about tube stretch and why it's important to the bender and that will help you um, greatly anyway thank you for watching the video and for the people here at jd squared we all wish you a nice day bye bye